Hey everybody, this video once again brings us back out to beautiful downtown Winter Garden, Florida. And the reason why we are in beautiful downtown Winter Garden, Florida is because we are back at the post office. I got a couple packages I need to drop off, a couple things going out to some people who ordered some items off me. And I wanna check to see if I received anything. I do believe there actually is a package waiting for me in there, at least one package waiting for me in there. If I'm not mistaken, I believe somebody did say they they sent me something, so we're gonna go inside. We're gonna see if I have any packages, and if I do have any packages, we're gonna unbox them together. Again, I think there's at least one thing that we need to um, to be unboxing today. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna head in there. We're gonna see what we got, and um, I'm pretty excited about this because the uh, the one package that I'm waiting for, I actually do know what's inside there, and it's a pretty cool thing. So definitely excited, especially for the the Halloween season. It's something something a little spooky if you will. So, all right, let's pop into the, the post office. Let's drop off some packages, which I just realized I left in the, the van. And then um, we'll see if, uh, ooh, that's loud. And then we'll see if I have anything to, uh, to unbox today. All right, so we do indeed have a couple of packages here. One of them is uh, the package I was, uh, I was expecting, the package I was waiting for. And the other one is a mystery. I have no idea what's in this second package. So pretty excited to, uh, to dive into these to see what it is that you guys have sent. Again, one thing I already know what it is. I think anyway, I, I'm pretty sure I know what one of these are. It could This could be actually, this package right here could actually be something completely different for all I know. It might not be what I think it is, but I'm pretty sure I know it's inside there. So pretty excited about that. And of course, I'm always excited about a mystery package as well. I have no idea what's in this box right here. So we're gonna dive in. We're gonna see what we, uh, what we got. And they're doing some street cleaning. <laughs> All right, anyway, that is loud. All right, let's hop back into the van where it's much, much, much quieter. And um, let's, see what, uh, let's see what you guys have sent me. All right, so let's see what it is that you guys have, um, have sent. Pretty excited about this. I guess we'll do the, um, we'll start off here with the, uh, the package that I'm pretty sure I know um, what's, what's in. Um, we're gonna start, we're gonna start off, we're gonna start off here with the package that contains something that I'm pretty sure I already know about. Is that what I'm trying to say? I don't know, it's very early in the morning. I'm not thinking straight right now. All right, anyway, we've, I haven't talked about the ever lovely cinnamon in a long, long time on this channel. We got the ever lovely cinnamon here to, um, to help us dive into this package. So uh, this package comes from William Rob Robinson. So I believe, again, I believe I know what this is. I'm pretty sure I know, oh yes, okay. Yeah, this is so cool. So, all right, this is amazing. This is Maxine. I've been wanting to see this. I love the other two movies and I've been wanting to um, to check this out. X and Pearl are both great and um, I've been wanting to see the, uh, the third movie here, Maxine. This is cool. So um, I believe William said, I, I can't remember the full story, but I think he, he ended up with a second copy of this, something like, Amazon or something like that sent him another copy by accident and then they said oh you could just keep it or something like that and he's like well now I gotta now I'm stuck with this extra copy of Maxine hey have you seen the movie do you want it I'm like I haven't seen it I want to check this out so he was nice enough to um to send his extra copy to me I think that's what's what the story was uh this is the blu-ray dvd digital copy combo pack so pretty awesome yeah definitely excited about that uh, let's see, special features, the belly of the beast, XXX marks the spot, Hollywood is a killer, Q&A with writer, director Ty West, um, teaser trailer and theatrical trailer. Pretty awesome, yeah. So um, again, X and uh, Pearl were both great, great movies. I really enjoyed those films. They were, you know, twisted, fun uh, horror movies, but I, I like them because they're not you know, like your stereotypical horror movie. They're, you know, they're, they're, they're a little different. They're the fun and twisted movies. And um, I really, really, did, really enjoyed them. And um, I had heard this was pretty good. If you like, you know, the, the first two, I've heard, you know, like the, um, the, this, the third one. So this is cool. This is awesome. Again, William, thank you so much for sending this to me. I can't wait to sit down and um, and check this out. I'm gonna, gonna end up watching this one um, probably immediately. Actually, I don't know. Has Danielle seen? We got, uh, what's today's 29? So we got, um, we got three days until Halloween. I wonder if Danielle has seen X or Pearl. I can't remember if she's seen them or if I've watched any of those with her. I don't remember. Anyway, um, maybe we'll just we'll just watch the trilogy because it's been a while since I've seen the uh, 
the last two movies. So anyway, this is cool. This is awesome. Thank you so much for sending this. I will be watching this one just immediately because, um, again, the first two were fantastic, and I have no doubt this one is fantastic as well. So again, William, thank you so much for sending me your extra copy of, uh, of Maxine. I really look forward to checking this out. Thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate that. All right, and then uh, last but not least, we've got this uh, this package here from this package here from Jim Demick. So uh, Jim has um, has sent me something. I don't know what is inside here from Jim Demick. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, we got a we got a note. It says Dave. Here are a few titles I had extras uh, extras in my in my collection. I uh, hope you can use them. I also drew something for Sean down at the bottom of the box. Okay, interesting. So we'll see what uh, we'll see what that is. All right, let's um, let's dive into this package here. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, we got bubble wrap and tissue paper. <laughs> I love it. Okay, um, so we got a couple things here like um, CTM pick. Uh, Kenny Chesney. Never listened to uh, to him before. I'll have to check that out. So a CD there. All right. Then we got a couple of um, DVDs. We got John Wick Chapter Two. Very cool. Lord of the Rings: Return of the King. American History X. Great movie. Uh, then we got uh, this is all. This is the trilogy. Yeah, we got the Lord of the Rings trilogy right here on uh, on DVD. Pretty awesome. Pretty cool. Uh, then we've got more Lord of the Rings. Is it, it's like the full screen versions. We got we got two towers widescreen and two towers full screen. You got your you got your choice. Who remembers when that was a thing? Who remembers when um, movies came in both full screen and widescreen? <laughs> that was that was a stupid thing. Uh, people getting so upset about um, about their you know the, the black bars and the tops and the bottoms of the screen. We can't have that. We want half our movie chopped off instead to fill our, fit our screen. Should have never been a thing. <laughs> um, Man on Fire in widescreen. Uh, we've got uh, the two disc collector's edition of Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Curse of the Black Pearl. Such a great movie. One of my favorite, probably my favorite live action Disney movie. The Perfect Storm, a movie I saw like five times in the theater because I just happened to have a bunch of friends and girlfriends and stuff at the time who just wanted to see this movie. And um, it just so happened I ended up going to see that movie like five times. It's a great movie, I like it. I don't know if I would have gone to the theater to see it five times, but it just happened that I ended up seeing it that many times. Uh, Walk the Line, love this movie, love this soundtrack, so good. Also, it's the full screen version. Such a good, good biopic of uh, Johnny Cash, love. Love that movie. Uh, then we got Breakdown Lane. I've never seen this. This is put out by Breaking Glass. I don't know. It's um, a terrifying new horror film with a sexy female lead kicking zombie butt. I'm not making that up. That's what it says. <laughs> That's the synopsis of the film. So, okay. Uh, we've got MASH um, Season 1 Collector's Edition. Pretty cool. Uh, Reno 911. Season one, uh, brand new factory sealed, never open. Great, great show. I love that one as well. I love, love watching that show. That's one of the shows where if you're flip, flipping, uh, I'm flipping through the if I'm flipping through the channels, there we go, and it's on. I'm gonna stop and watch it. Uh, we got the Hellraiser um, classic collection, not six film set, three film set, because <laughs> it's only got one of the discs in it. Um, looks like uh, Hellraiser three, four. And uh, I'm guessing five or something. Uh, oh yeah, and five, three, four, and five. So Hellraiser three, four, and five. It's missing um, six, seven, and eight, but still pretty awesome, pretty cool. That's great. Um, Steven Seagal in Black Dawn. Never seen that one. Uh, the Wild Bunch. Great, great movie. I believe I have it on Blu-ray. I've never seen this. Um, this is the original director's cut release. Never seen this uh, old snapper case release of it. That is pretty awesome. Uh, oh, this is really cool. A&E, uh, Collectors of Choice, Mafia, The History of the American Mob. Look at that. Some A&E. Very cool. Um, it comes with Mafia, The History of the Mob in America, The Prohibition, Years slash Birth of, of the American Mafia, The Kennedys and the Mob, and oh, Unions of the Mob, and Empire of Crime. Very cool. That's awesome. Looking forward to checking that out. Love some good A&E documentaries. A... <laughs> Knight's Tale. I love this movie. It's so cheesy. When when it gets to the We Will Rock You part, it always makes me laugh. I don't know if it's a, in a good way or a bad way, but um, this movie makes me laugh, and I like I like it. It's a fun movie. I, I enjoy that one. So, all right. 
that is that. And then we got um, one last thing here. This is cool. Whoa. This is totally going up in Sean's room. This is amazing, Jim. So you you did this. This is your art right here. I am blown away by this. This is really, really cool. Check this out. It's Mario and Luigi drawn by um, by Jim. The art of Jim Demick. Uh, www.jimdemick.com. That's J-I-M-D-E-M-I-C-K.com. That is cool. There's... um. There's the information right there, if you guys can see that. Very awesome, very cool. Wow, Jim, this is so neat. Yeah, definitely going to get a frame for this and um, and put this up in Sean's room. That is cool. I actually haven't hung any posters up in Sean's room yet. I have posters to hang up, um, but I gotta get some more frames for them and I gotta get some, actually more a couple more posters I wanna get. Um, so I just haven't hung anything yet because I wanna get like, I wanna get all the posters, I wanna get all the frames, I wanna get everything and then decide I don't want to start hanging stuff because then it's going to be one of those things where you hang stuff and you're like, yeah, that looks really good. And then you get like something like this or you get another big poster and you're like, wait, I should have like spaced them out better. No, I, I want to get everything first and then hang stuff up. So this is going to get hung up. I don't know where yet, but that's going to get hung up in Sean's room. That is really cool. Thank you so much for that. That's amazing. That is so awesome. I love this. That is, that is fantastic. But all right, guys, I believe that's everything. I don't see anything else in here. So Jim, thank you so much for all that. I really do appreciate it. Wow, that is so cool. Again, the movies are awesome. And then like, seriously, that is so neat. All right, guys, so there you go. That's going to do it for today's unboxing video. Again, William and John the Jim, thank you so much for, for sending all that awesome stuff. Maxine, I cannot wait to check that out. That is so cool. Thank you again, William, for that. I appreciate that. And um, Jim, again, thank you for all the uh, the movies. Very cool. And the, the that poster, that is, that is fantastic. That is so absolutely epic. That is absolutely 100% going up in Sean's room. He's going he's gonna to love that. I cannot wait to show that to him. He's going he's gonna to freak out. He's gonna lose his mind. He's definitely going to uh, enjoy the enjoy the poster. But all right, before we end this video, one last thing we've got to do, of course, is check out all the disgusting, slimy, moldy, wet books. There is nothing I need in here, and even if there was, all those books are wet. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to waterproof one of those, but they need to be waterproofed. <laughs> Maybe a bigger. A, bit, a bigger top to it or something. I don't know, an overhang, something. Let's put some gutters on that thing. I don't know what to do, but those books are destroyed. But all right, guys, again, that is gonna do it. So, all right, beautiful downtown Winter Garden, Florida. Again, guys, thank you so much for all the awesomeness. Jim, William, thank you so much for, for sending me all that awesome, epic, amazing stuff. I really do appreciate it. You guys don't have to send me anything. Nobody has to send me anything, but when you guys do, it blows my mind and I am so appreciative. Appre appreciative? Appreciative? I really do appreciate when you guys get it. It's very early in the morning. I got stuff on me. I really do appreciate when you guys send me stuff. It means so much to me. It blows my mind that anybody would ever send me anything. So thank you guys so much for that. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna let you guys go. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. Check down below for links to Spreadshirt. Cinema Sickness t-shirts are back up on Spreadshirt. You can pick one of those up. And also hit that join button and become a member of this channel and gain early access to all of my videos. So I really do appreciate all that help. It really does help out and it keeps the show going. So it means a whole heck of a lot to me. But all right, guys, again, that is going to do it. So again, thanks for watching. Like I said, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.